Paranormal Spooky Ghost Sightings in Merseyside Exploding pint glass in 2017 a pub landlord thought he was dealing with spirits of some different kind after pint glass was caught randomly exploding on CCV. David McKinn, who runs the Derby Arms in Prescott, struggled to believe a punter's claim with his glass pint stroke. Calling shattered without him touching it that Wednesday afternoon. But after the 40 year old checked the CTT footage, he started to suspect ghostly going on, not a drunken customer as he first thought. He said the tr- customer is a regular pub, goes in most Wednesdays, he ordered two pints of calling, went and sat down. The next minute, he says, just randomly exploded. He thought he might have knocked it something without realising. So I checked the CTV. I see that he sat there taxing. He didn't touch it. David ran the, Dar- ran the Derby arms for over a decade. says he heard stories that his pub is haunted. Remains of the fence when it comes to potential activity. He added, over the years, a few cleaners said they seen people walking past and felt move- objects moving. And he had the old glass fall off the shelf, but we never caught one on video. Soldier in the cemetery... A ghostly figure caught on camera in St. James Cemetery behind the Liverpool Cathedral. Could be that a 17th century soldier. A eerie shape was hovering between the headstones, was captured by a ghost thunder while then walk around the haunted burial ground. In the picture taken by Louise Farrell, this, it appears to be a walking plate of armour dating from the Civil War era. War era. A armour which covered the chest and arms, which had elbow protection, was widely used by most armies until the end of the 17th century, but both foot mounted troops. Many soldiers in the Hatteric period would wear three-quarter suits of armour, with legs uncovered. In the picture, the chilling white shape seems to be keeping with tradition. The outline of the face can be made out. The shape is wearing what could be a helmet. Key briefly, the haunted ghost waltz St. James since 2002, it's one of the most haunted centuries on Merseyside. Describing the chilling picture, he said, it looks like a battle trip back in the day. I think it's a soldier from Prince Rupert came to Liverpool. In 1664, during the Civil- English Civil War siege of Liverpool, Prince Rupert of Germany arrived in Merseyside with 10,000 men, camped them along what is now known as Everton Brow. A lot up, known as Prince Rupert's Tower of Everton, Lockup was built and remains on Everton Brow to this day. Louise, who captured the mysterious figure on 7th, March the 7th last year, said it was her first ghost walk with Keith. I was really excited to see something show up. The first thing I saw was the face on my left right hand side. I noticed the figure on the left, which I thought looked like some sort of priest. A picture with lots of atmosphere in it. Keith added, I've done walks since 2002. I done one in St. James once a month. Very active place, but you always get a result. At the same time, the t- people I take around respect for the dead. Have respect for the dead. One of the most haunted ceremonies on the side. Ghosts in Garlands. A team provided the echo, it, local Echo plate newspaper with video footage in January 17, 2017. It showed a cleaner reacting a mysterious object hitting her. Prior to her reaction, papers could see falling from a new bird stall. Another from included footsteps in black paint left on the toilet floor, which despite no decorating work baking place, toilets flushing, lights flickering, and taps running. News ha- Ham Park Oats Hospital. Building is once a long finish, dating back to the Victorian area. There is medical hospital and a mental asylum closing to 1997 the bark in the background since then it's full in despair with many people reporting strange events at the abandoned building one of the most trying chilling accounts was a former employee in the hospital people would stay away from the property and said it was pure evil I remember going down to the basement one night to get a blanket to keep myself warm as I walked I saw a man in a white coat no head walked past and straight through the wall I flew out of the room and it was terrifying Many stories of other people saw these things. People terrified taking parts of the hotel, hospital, before the paranormal activity. One well, old seawall was an old cast iron staircase. But no one go up because it led to the corridor and lines 
of a cupboard where the cupboards were put. They're naughty. You could hear banging from the cupboards. These words of caution came out of a go- picture of a ghost girl were captured by an inv- paranormal investigation group. Experienced uh, investigator Paul Lauren from Haunted Happening said he was c- taken hundreds of photos over the years but has never seen one so vivid. He told how the new ghost girl Northern Park Jim Park was caused to stir on Facebook as none of the other people in the image recognised the figure. He said we always begin our ghost hunts with a picture of the group. I've done this many times and this is exactly what I did. I took the picture of my own phone and put it in my pocket. I didn't look at it. It wasn't until the next morning after I got posted on Facebook other pictures of the night then I saw it. He said I never came across anything like it before. Of course we tried to debunk it straight away. The jogging ghost. A woman claimed to have captured a jogging ghost outside a nearby former Newsome Ham Park Hospital in twenty seventeen. Heather Sides from Kenbury Kirby captured what appeared to be a paranormal apparition on visit to former asylum taking place in a ghost hunt tour. Twenty year old caught the spooky sight after taking a photo of her friend to show her the creepy building they were about to enter. When she looked at the picture, she saw it appeared to be a ghost jogging past the entrance. I couldn't believe it when I looked back. It's what I looked like, someone running past. I, I already believe in ghosts. I, I now believe in memes no more. I'm really scared. The picture shows a blurred figure appearing to dash past the gates of the grade two listed building. A paranormal team claimed they found proof ghost activity in a city graveyard. A team from Lion Heart Paranormal went to St. James's Cemetery at Liverpool Cathedral, hoping to make contact with a spirit known as Little Grace. Kevin Robinson Hale, who runs the Lion Heart from his husband, said the team caught the clearest video and audio in the six years of ghost hunting. A 32 year old from Edmonton said he went to St. James's Liverpool most active site on Sunday, October 8th. 2017, hoping to make contact with Little Grace. We ended up catching the clearest EVP electronic voice from on a video in six years. We sat at various places. This video audio was captured by the grave of a woman who died when the SS Elevan Valan sank. The SS Elevan Valan was an iron paddle steamer destroyed by a storm travelling to Liverpool from the Isle of Man in December 3rd, 1909. First clip the ghost hunter said, the touching a cool torch to the grave of a child. It looked like a puff of smoke bellowed from the ground. The video was slowed down for people to see it clearly. It did as we did. It was not tampered with any other way. The audio of the second clip layered over a still image of the grave where it was captured. He believes that the woman's voice was picked up with equipment beside the grave and said, don't, it said, don't tell anyone. Popcorn Phantom. A woman claimed her daughter spotted a ghost. When she went to the cinema to see the Loji film in 2017, Claire McMahon sent a picture for a family cinema trip. Taylor 13 was at the Odeon cinema in Odeon, Liverpool 1. Her aunt and two young cousins were living for a birthday a day out when she took a picture of the screen to post her friends on Snapchat. Claire from Anfield said her camera in the back of the phone was broke. So she took a picture in self made mode. When she looked at the ground, she couldn't believe the picture. It looks like someone in the front looking around at them. She said the screen was empty when her daughter took the picture. It really freaked me them all out. Her seven year old cousin was hysterical and never wanted to go I just wanted to go home while she saw it. Ghost Pirate and Stroke Rick Ship Rick Rick Fiend Park. Back in twenty fifteen Eerie footage of a ghostly pirate figure in Warrington News Nightclub was leaked on social media. Media, the owner of the Rate Bar, Dream, Dream Water Lounge, since closed, Clo called in paranormal experts in July 2015. The TV showed, appeared to show a serene figure walking down a corridor. The film shows the camera shaking, then a lone white figure emerges appears to walk along the rope bridges area of the rear bar. The summon it figures looks like outline, long forgotten part, while others see a woman in a bonnet from a most distant past. The owner at the time, Sam, Sam, 
so I'm innocent. I bet the bar is quite spooky. I said a leap for it been edited to make it more dramatic. Who is originally from Manchester, but now lives in Denmark, said, there's something there, moving along the road bridge. It's not it's clearly to have been added. Footage was uploaded to YouTube, alleged it had been filmed a few hours earlier. Taken a CCTV camera, overlooks a rope bridge, part of the business shipwreck theme. As a few seconds the camera begins to shake, a frame appears, indicating that the viewer, the camera is now recording because it's mo- detected motion. It's followed by what appears by a faint figure glides down the bridge before disappearing. But Simon said the vid- vision being circulated on the social media was over the top. One of the CTVs it records all the time, but because there is motion, a battery symbol on the camera, and our CTV runs from the mains. The camera's shaking with a very nice touch. Ghost of Grand looking over his unborn baby. Pregnant mum was had a shock of life when she saw a great grandmother face staring back from her unborn baby scan. Louise Corkill paid an early for an early sexy scan. A 16 week pregnant, a hello baby in St. Helens. Number two said she's already shot to learn she's having a baby boy and was convinced she's having a girl. The 30 year old could not foresee what happened next, but he looked at the painted screen to see the face of her grandma, Mary Parkinson, who died in 2001. That on her face could be seen at the bottom of the picture. I felt sick and started sobbing. I knew instantly. It was her face. I was so shocked to see her again, said Louise. It was like me knowing she was there, looking after the baby. A video taken in the world, home Olympic gold medalist, Sam Quirk, appeared as slow, cautions of seriously being thrown down in the middle of the night, and happened ne- exactly an hour later. Showing it, shared it on Facebook and Twitter. Low with them, but some suggested stray gets the wind to blame. What did all? What wanted to burn her eyes out? Earlier in 28, terrified of paranormal investigators, claiming they heard a haunted doll telling them, I want to burn your eyes out. The moment was captured by camera by Danny Moss of Big TV Paranormal Captured. The innocent looking figure, Vincent branded the most haunted item in the UK. Video shows Mr. Moss. Holding the crucifix before, asking what you want to burn. Chilly, then it applies your eyes. It's captured in the airspot and scans the nose, or blocking out any radio inferences. Basically, you believe the spirit, a witch from the 1600s, attached itself to Dull during a ghost hunt at Nitch Lick Led Delay Dry in Roofton, New South Wales. North Wales. It's kept in a glass box, and I'm sure what super supernatural powers it has. Another video recorded in the camera left attended room picks up a knocking noise and hearing a voice saying release. Mr. Moss said, hearing it say what did my eyes are terrifying at the time. It had members of the public along the witnesses it was just crazy. What's significant is a few years ago captured a voice saying something along the lines of rape your eyes. A number of people have had the sensation of eyes burning, but we never thought too much of it until this incident. We believe the doll gained its attachment in roofing over even a few months. We've recorded good evidence. Snocking sounds are some several times that we captured and heard it's real time.